By now, all the necessary components should be installed, so it's time to start Play on Linux. Play on Linux is actually a software designed to run games designed for Windows on Linux. In our case, this software will help us to install MetaTrader on a Linux system. To do this, we enter Play on Linux in the search bar of the application menu. After a few seconds you should see the start screen of Play on Linux. Here are already predefined categories under which you can find popular installations. And the MetaTrader is also there. Unfortunately, the installation routine suggested there leads to an error during the download. But that doesn't matter, because we simply click on the entry Install an Unlisted Program at the bottom of the screen. In order to install MetaTrader, we must first download the appropriate installation software from MetaQuote's website. For MetaTrader 5 this is quite simple, we just go to the metatrader5.com website. Although there is also a corresponding website for MetaTrader 4, the download of this software is already since 2018 no longer possible. Instead, the MetaTrader 5 would be downloaded here as well. However, there is still a way to install MetaTrader 4 and those who need the software for this can either download it from their own broker or via a link on our website mql4tutorial.com. Play on Linux now shows us a hint in the next screen. We can simply skip this by clicking on the next button. We do the same with the second hint screen which shows us that Play on Linux does not belong to Wine. In the next step we are asked if we want to install a new application or update an existing application. Since MetaTrader is not installed yet, we decide to install a new application. After that we can decide if we want to use another version of Wine. This is not necessary in our case, but might be useful at a later time. We set the checkmark to configure Wine. The third option would allow us to install some libraries which we don't need in this case. After setting up the options we come to the next screen. There we can choose if we want to install a 32-bit program or a 64-bit program. We decide to install the 64-bit version. After that we have the possibility to configure Wine. For the Windows version we use the entry Windows 10. Then we click on the tab Libraries. Here we select the entry for WinHTTP from the list of available libraries. After we have confirmed our configuration with OK we go on to the selection of the installation file. Here I select the MT5 setup.exe which I have saved in the download directory. And if everything has worked up to here we now see the MetaTrader installation screen. Most viewers should be familiar with this installation routine. But let's go through the steps briefly. After clicking next, files will be downloaded. This can be seen by the green progress bar in the MetaTrader installer. Once all files have been installed, a short completion screen appears and after a few seconds the MetaTrader website and the MetaTrader program appear. Here you are now prompted to start with a demo account which you can create. Alternatively, one can also log into an existing account with another broker via the button labeled Find Your Company. After logging into an existing account the installation is finished and MetaTrader is ready to work. Ok, that's it so far with the installation. If you have any questions or suggestions about the content in this video then just send us an email. We always answer ourselves and usually within 24 hours. If you want to build your own algo trading system farm, then just subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need faster or better results for your own algo trading, then check out the premium course on our website. For now, we say thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.